We will now walk through adjusting the carriage stop calibration. The carriage stop is designed to prevent the cutter from running into the right jaw. To make this adjustment, you will need an 11 30 seconds open end wrench and also a standard business card. This calibration should be checked after every time you replace the cutting wheel. First, make sure the key machine is unplugged. Then make sure that both jaws are set to the standard jaw setting. Raise the carriage into the cutting position and move it to the right so the cutter is aligned in the center of the right jaw. Now cut the business card in half lengthwise. Place the business card between the cutter and the flat surface of the right jaw. Hold the card flat and rotate the cutter upwards by spinning the brush. Spin the brush for a couple of revolutions. If the carriage stop is properly adjusted, the cutter will leave a small mark on the business card but not cut through the card or drag it upwards. If the business card has been cut all the way through or is dragged upward during this procedure, then an adjustment is needed. Take the 11 30 seconds wrench and loosen the carriage stop locking nut. Next, turn the carriage stop screw counterclockwise about a quarter turn Once the adjustment has been made, retighten the carriage stop locking nut. Now place the card back between the cutter and vice jaw and rotate the cutter upwards. Make these tests and adjustments until the cutter just leaves a mark on the business card. If the business card does not contact the cutter wheel at all or drops during the rotation, then an adjustment is needed. Use the 11 30 seconds wrench to loosen the carriage stop locking nut. Next, turn the carriage stop adjusting screw a quarter turn clockwise and retighten the locking nut. Now place the card back between the cutter and vice jaw and rotate the cutter upwards. Make these tests and adjustments until the cutter just leaves a mark on the back of the business card. Once the carriage stop is calibrated correctly, you can move on to the spacing and depth calibrations.